three, two, one. Action. It's got to be Hey guys, so we're, uh, we're just coming for a week to visit. Everybody has shown a lot of love for Uma. Hi, boys. I'm really excited to come back and give them more. She's kind of coming back with a little bit of vengeance. Her entire mind is on getting the children off the aisle. She wants them to be free. Let's go. I learn a lot when I'm recording the songs, things that are supposed to be happening while we're singing. In the booth, you just have to picture that. You like picture I'm fighting with knights right now, and this is crazy. <laughs> back to back, back to You're a star, back. Dylan. You're a star. I'm a star. See that? Harry Hooks out there. Tom Storty gives me the confidence I need to proceed. <laughs> you know what I mean? One of the reasons why I've loved Gil so much is because his relationship to pretty much everyone has always been that of a golden retriever. He's just happy to be loved. His tail's always wagging. He's very loyal, you know, he's very loyal to Uma and the Pirate Gang, and he really does want the best for everyone, so it's, it's a really fun character to play. He's a free right? Ty is just a crazy guy. He's just a bit mad, very unpredictable, he's very confident, he's quite charming, but he's also a bit scary. You, my little duckling, are ravishing. I think the journey of the pirates is just really honest with the circumstances they're in. I mean, they're, they're stuck on an island. They're working with what they've got. They take it and run with it, like a lot of things in their lives. Take it and run with it. <laughs> it's Hades! I am a god! I am playing Hades, god of the underworld. It's so much fun to be working with a new character. I love Cheyenne Jackson. He's obviously a huge Broadway veteran, and he is unbelievably talented. He's trying to escape! I don't belong here! He has lived a big life and had a lot of amazing things happen to him, and now he is kind of relegated to this cave and to his small little life. I used to be a god! It's fun to play make-believe on these big, giant sets and these great costumes and hair. Oh, please. It's going to be good. I'm Jamal Sims. I'm co choreographer, and I also play Dr. Facilier. You know, this has always been a fantasy of mine to, to play somebody that was evil. It's so opposite of who I am. You make sure you get your cut. <laughs> Hi. Hi, guys. They love me, you know. We I just love gotta, yeah. <laughs> The experience of Descendants 3 has been amazing. That energy on the set, that is the memory that you really cherish. For sure, there's a little emotion there, you know. You grow to love the people on the set, and you really grow together as a family. This is a part of who I am now. Like, there's China, and then Uma's somewhere, and she'll always be in my heart. That being said, the movie is, is timeless, you know. So once it's made, it's there forever, and, and there's something really cool about that. Yeah, it's never really done. Three, two, one, action. It's